for the Backside Buzz, Monday, April 27th, and three horses who are very familiar with one another all made their first derby time appearances on the Churchill Downs main track this morning. And we'll start with Santa Anita Derby winner, Dortmund. All 17 plus hands of this massive individual came to the racetrack for a brief appearance this morning, and he was followed by another horse making a cameo appearance of sorts, Firing Line. These horses have done battle twice. They finished within a head of one another in both the Los Alamitos Futurity and the Robert B. Lewis, with Dortmund getting the best of Firing Line in both of those races. Since then, Dortmund has gone on to win the San Felipe and the San Anita Derby, while Firing Line and Gary Stevens were last seen winning the Sunland Derby by some 14 lengths. Now, another horse who has been watching the backside of Dortmund this spring is Bolo. He finished third behind him in both the San Felipe and the San Anita Derby. He got a little bit more extensive work over the Churchill Downs main track this morning, Bolo to me may eventually wind up being a grass horse. He's got big paddly type turf feet, but that doesn't mean he can't be an impact on the first Saturday in May. Now, as far as final arrivals go on Monday, Al Kabir got here at four in the morning. Carpe Diem got here at 5.20 a.m. Later on, International Star arrived around lunchtime and Moop to Hedge got the Churchill Downs early evening. Just two more horses to arrive tomorrow. They will be Frosted and Upstart. Frosted and Upstart will both work at Palm Meadows in the morning and be on a 12 noon plane to Churchill Downs. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thurby, Friday Kentucky Oaks, and Saturday Kentucky Derby Day, live racing all week starting tomorrow. For the Backside Buzz, I'm Joe Christofek.